Welcome to a new in the mail and to 2024. Happy New Year. What better way to start this year than with a mailbag video? I'm going to start with these two EVA storage cases and these are roughly 14 by 10 centimeters in size. Uh, they do differ slightly in thickness, but uh, it makes them a perfect fit for small things like a logic analyzer or like the uh, active pro debug tool that did not come with an EVA carry case. Um, such devices can be uh, tucked in here uh, together with the small accessories they have and they can be safely stored and carried away when needed. These are fairly inexpensive so definitely worth getting a couple of these uh, just to keep your tools uh, well organized. Same as usual, links in the description of this video. Next item is this uh, very interesting uh, LED bar graph style module and I don't know about you but I definitely get excited when seeing these odd shaped bar graph modules. This one comes in a round shape. It's approximately 20 millimeters in diameter at its widest point with a 7.2 millimeter diameter hole in the middle. What you can do with these is to have them on a PCB with a potentiometer uh, sticking through this uh, hole and you have this very neat uh, level indicator. These ones in, uh, in particular uh, they have 31 segments and I'm guessing that's uh, 30 on the circumference plus this one decimal point down here. And they are arranged as uh, usual with these modules in a matrix of rows and columns and um, I have wired one of these up on a uh, breadboard uh, just to show you how cool it looks. This is just a, um, a simple animation that I quickly put together. I've got the uh, green color option here and it looks much better in real life but they also come as red and yellow if needed and uh, this particular seller uh, seems to specialize in these uh, modules. They also include you a, a data sheet uh, inside the package. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like these and if you'd like to uh, check them out there will be a link in the description. And before I continue with the next item let me quickly mention the sponsor of this video PCBWay.com a professional PCB manufacturer with excellent quality and fast turnaround times from two layers to advanced multi-layer flex bridged PCBs PCBWay will have you covered. You could also try the new module store on their website where by using bonus points or cash you can purchase a great variety of electronic modules and related tools. Check out their website link below. From time to time the need for rapid prototyping of an ESP32 or compatible module appears so I always keep around some of these uh, prototyping PCBs which can take an uh, ESP32 on one of the sides and the ESP8266 module on the other side and it just breaks out all of the pins to these rows of uh, pin headers and I find these uh, super helpful and not just for ESP modules because there are a variety of other manufacturers and types of modules like ZB, RF, Bluetooth modules that will fit the uh, same footprint and uh, pin pitch so recently I have used up all of uh, these so I ordered some more spares and while I was there I also got this other type of uh, breakout board which is more advanced. I mean depending on how you look at things this is an ESP32 development board uh, without the ESP32 module populated uh, because you do get the 3.3 uh, volt uh, LDO, it has the USB to serial chip with auto reset circuitry, it has a couple of switches, an LED and uh, yeah it's got the dreaded micro USB connector which nobody uses anymore but in a pinch when you need a prototype this could prove very useful. Next up I have a uh, basic bicycle pump valve and I have this uh, Decathlon pump for which the uh, uh, plastic valve that it came with was not great to start with and then due to maybe improper usage on my side it probably got worse so I decided to replace this because the, the pump is still very good and I got this two uh, output style one which should be able to do the um, classical style um, valve plus a Schrader valve output and I do have Schrader valve on my bike and with this I won't have to use an adapter anymore so I'll have to install this and test it but uh, for that purpose I also ordered a bunch of these uh, metal clips. These are steel uh, spring clips 
and I got a few different uh, sizes here because I didn't know exactly which one I'm going to need for the pump tube so with these uh, two items I should be able to uh, complete the repair of uh, the pump and keep using it it's fairly cheap to just buy a new pump but it would have the same shitty valve so I thought why not repair this one and and try a different type of valve it just feels bad throwing this guy in the bin anyway after only using it a couple of times and well the pump itself is still good and while I was on the pneumatics aisle I also ordered myself a couple of these so-called European standard fittings for compressor hose and a while ago I did get a pneumatic dispensing machine and it didn't have the right fittings to somehow match uh, what I have on my tiny compressor so I got a couple of these and the only difference between these two being the uh, diameter of the accepted tube which goes on, on this side so just got a couple of different sizes next up I, I'm gonna start with a pretty interesting rant and a while ago after I tried using some of these cheap Aliexpress 12 volt cigarette lighter connectors and they just melted at 10 amps. I went on Mauser to buy some high quality ones and I found this product from a manufacturer called CCS which was rated for 15 amps and I ordered a few only to find that my order was refused because this product uh, has a delivery restriction. It is only available to OEM slash EMS and design business customers and this product will not be shipped to consumers in the EU. But why? I can't think of a single good reason why you wouldn't ship a cigarette lighter connector or a cable assembly to an EU customer which is not an OEM. But let me know in the comments below if you think there's a good reason for this limitation. I would really love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so that was my rant. I went back on AliExpress and searched with specific keywords like high quality. And yeah, I know joke is on me when doing those kinds of searches on AliExpress. But I did find these uh, three models which contain those keywords. Uh, these two came from the same seller. They have 10 amps, 15 amps and 20 amps models. And I believe I got the uh, 10 amp and the 20 amp models. I didn't like the 15 amp model because it has the dreaded fake gold plating and I have to say those don't inspire much confidence but uh, they do look and feel a little different from the standard the cheaper ones that you get on Aliexpress so maybe there is a slight difference in the material they, they're made of so we'll have to see that. I also found this uh, third model Different style, different seller. This one claims 15 amps in the product des description. Uh, again, I don't know about that, but the plastic definitely feels uh, to be, you know, different, a different material and a, a different mold than the standard cheap ones that you get on uh, AliExpress. I would be happy if any of these would hold just 10 amps for longer periods of time, but maybe we'll test these in a separate video to see how well they do. Let me know in, let me know in the comments below if you want to see me test these at high current to record with a thermal camera, see if they melt, catch fire or anything interesting like that. But until then, uh, if you want to give these a try, links will be in the description below. Next up, I have a couple of uh, interesting connector adapters. And first, there's this uh, mini HDMI male to regular size HDMI a female adapter which claims it can do 4K 60 Hertz and you have two options when you need something like this you either get a cable which already has the mini to regular size HDMI connectors on different ends or you get one of these adapters and you can use a regular size standard HDMI cable on this side. If it's a more permanent installation, I would go for the correct cable option but for quick testing and prototyping purposes, these adapters are something that I would like to keep around. It's a quick way to get something up and running. And next I have this USB type A uh, splitter. It says twin charger on it and only gives a rating of 5 volts um, on, on the uh, back of the unit, on the label. They say nothing about the current it can hold. It might be rated for, I don't know, half an amp, one amp. But just to say, stay on the on the safe side, I wouldn't use this for anything more than half an amp, maybe one amp if you're feeling lucky. The product description on AliExpress does say one amp max, so yeah, I would probably stay under that for good measure. But let's try removing the top cover to see how it's uh, 
wired inside. So it's actually not that bad and it does have some resistor pairs on the data lines probably setting the current limit on each of the two output ports to half an amp and the width of those tracks does look like uh, it could hold uh, an amp. So yeah, I think it, it's pretty safe to, to use this guy up to one amp. Next up, useful for when you need to pull some power from a USB power delivery capable port, a decoy module. It's just a different interpretation from the ones that I already have or might even be a duplicate of a model that I already own. Uh, this one can do 100 watts, maximum 5 amps, 20 volts. It has different options for the output. You can get it with a USB type A connector, uh, a screw connector or no connector soldered like um, you can see I, I, I got it with no connector. I just want to have the option of soldering different connectors. And I just need multiple of these when testing and reviewing portable power stations to check if their USB ports really match the claim specs. I usually hook one of these up in between the USB port under test and one of my electronic loads, uh, which makes me wonder when are we going to see these uh, things integrated into the uh, front panels of the electronic loads that we're getting from Aliexpress not even limited to Aliexpress but I'd just like to see this integrated into an electronic load and have it negotiate and test the different voltages and output power levels uh, on a USB Type-C port. I'm guessing we'll maybe see something like that in the next two years. Next up I got one of these uh, power supply EMI filter modules just because it looked interesting and it's nice to be able to purchase these uh, pre-made filters uh, you might use something like this to replace a damaged filter in some equipment or just upgrade some equipment that didn't have one of these fitted as standard to prevent injecting noise back into your mains. And I have the 2 amp version here but they also sell these as 4 amp, 10 amp and 15 amp and I must say this is built pretty nicely. I mean apart from you know using no name components the module itself seems to be nicely designed and assembled. It's a uh, two-stage filter uh, I'll insert the schematic during editing so you get an X2 capacitor followed by a common mode choke then again X2 capacitor with uh, a couple of uh, I2 class capacitors between the rails and ground and a discharge resistor and then again common mode choke and X2 capacitor. The X2 capacitors are 0.1 microfarad um, uh, in value, the Y2 capacitors are 3300 picofarads and the chokes are uh, 10 uh, micro henrys and all of these are pretty standard values that you'll see used commonly in uh, these types of filters on the back the soldering is uh, pretty uh, decent it has some really nice thick tracks on the back with plenty of clearance so I like this design it's pretty good and the last item in this uh, mailbag video is uh, a magnetic helping hand flexible thingy with a uh, magnetic base and an alligator clip at the other end. So if you're using some form of metallic surface on your workbench, you can easily um, attach this to, uh, to it and use it as a helping hand. However, most uh, microscopes, you know, inspection cameras will have an aluminum or magnesium or some other non-magnetic alloy base which uh, prevents you from attaching this magnet. And that can be a problem. Uh, you can order this in a couple of different lengths 225 millimeters or 375 millimeters um, but to me it feels like the magnet choice is not strong enough I would prefer a stronger magnet here uh, for example this other uh, magnetic holder that I have has a much bigger magnet giving it a stronger mount point but that's an easy fix I just have to order one of these uh, stronger magnets and just uh, uns unscrew this one and screw in a uh, stronger magnet and uh, it should be good to go. And I think we'll stop here for today as this video is already long enough and it's probably already made a dent in your budget. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment below to let me know if you ordered any of the items uh, shown here and I'll be seeing you next time.